The next step is PERT analysis. We calculate expected time for each activity. Once again, PERT analysis, we have three time elements, optimistic shortest, most likely average and pessimistic the longest. Three time elements cannot be used for analysis. It just depends on the probabilistic nature. Therefore, we calculate expected time. T expected the formula for is T O plus 4 T M plus T P divided by 6, which gives these figures. Using these figures, we are planning to construct network diagram. Then look for network diagram. Activities are marked by an arrow. 1 to 2, 1 to 2, activity 1 to 2, activity 1 to 3, and activity 1 to 4, 3 parallel activities. We can, this order may be changed, 1 to 4 on the top, then 1 to 2, that, is, that doesn't matter. Then 2 to 5 and 3 to 5, the two events are converging to the activity 5, 5. Two, two. So 5 is a converging activity, 2 and 3 are two emerging activities, 4 to 6 and 5 to 6, 4 to 6 and 5 moving to 6. So 6 means converging of two activities and 6 to 7 and 5 to 7. So this diagram, 1 is the starting point and 7 is the end point. Then we are going to mark the activity duration on each activity. That is 2, 1 to 2, it is 2, 1 to 3, it is 5, 1 to 4, it is 3, 2 to 5, it is 1, 3 to 5, it is 6, 4 to 6, it is 5, 5 to 6, it is 7, 5 to 7, it is 7, and 6 to 7, it is 8. So for each activity, we allocate its time element. The next step is calculating the critical path method. There are two different methods. From this diagram, we list all the paths. The first path is 1, 2, 5, 7, starting from 1 and ending at 7. 1, 2, 5, 7 and its duration is 2 plus 1, 3 plus 7, 10. Then another act path is 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. Its duration is 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 7, 10, 18, 18. Then one more. 1, 3, 6, 1, 3, 5, 7. 1, 3, 5, 7. Duration is 5, 11, 18. Again 18. The next one is 1, 3, 5, 6, 8. 1, 3, 5, 6, 8. 1, 3, 5, plus 6, 11, 7, 18, plus 8, 26, 26. One more, one, four, one, one to, one, sorry, yeah, one to four, four to six, four to six, and six to seven, one, four, six, seven, duration is three plus five, eight, eight plus eight, sixteen, sixteen, which is the longest path in this, the longest path, that is the critical path is the longest one, the longest one. That is 1, 3, 5, 6, 8. That is the minimum time required for completion of the project. Minimum time required for the completion of the project. That is the largest among the different values. That is 1 to 3, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 8 determines the critical path. This, this determines the critical path. For calculating the critical path, we have one more method that is calculating forward event and calculating backward event time. Forward and backward event time. Then we are going to calculate float. Float. 
that is the difference between forward and backward activities float the activities having zero float zero float is called critical activity critical activity critical activity critical activity the sequence of critical activity is called critical path critical path is the sequence of critical activities so we are going to determine zero of that to have zero float it is the difference between float is the difference between latest event time and earliest event time that is forward and backward computation its difference now we are going to write down the tl at t on each node each node the the earliest event type are denoted on each node each node that is for one earliest event time is zero that is node time is preparatory for one that is the starting point is not conditioned by prescribed by any other activity so for one it is zero then activity 1 to 2 is that is t is 2 that is the minimum time required for a completion that is this time activity 1 to 3 it is 5 1 to 3 it is 3 that is simple activities nothing to add that is this time is closed post then 5 5 is a converging activity converging event event it had been achieved by two methods 1 to 2 2 to 5 1 to 3 3 to 5 1 is 3 and the other is 11 so we use the largest the time minimum time required for the completion of activities up to 5 2 plus 1 3 5 plus 6 11 so we use 11 the largest time then for 6 we can reach this 6 by two ways 1 4 6 that is 3 plus 5 8 by this way, 7, 1, 7, 11 plus 7, 18. We select the largest, largest 18. Then moving to 7, 11 plus 7, 18. 18 plus 8, 26. That is for each node, we use the largest, largest. That is the mathematical property. Nothing add, nothing to add. That is the largest value. Then we are going to calculate the backward computation, backward for each from starting from. So this value is 26. Then to, to 26 minus 8, that is the time required to reach 6. The total time is 26. 8 days are required here. So we can achieve. Back. Then we are going to calculate backward computation. 7, it is the largest. 26 itself, 26. Then from 26 to 7 to 6, 8. 26 minus 8, 18. Then 6 to 7, uh, 6 to 5. There are two options. 7 to 5 and 6 to 5. Eight, 18 minus 17, 7, 11. 26 minus 7, 19. We use we take the minimum, minimum. Backward computation, minimum. Forward computation, maximum. Then 11 minus 6. 5, no other alternative. 18 minus 5, 13, no other alternative. 11 minus 1, 10, no other alternative. 1, there are different alternatives. 5 minus 5, 10 minus 2, 13 minus 3, minimum 5 minus 5, it is 0. So these values constitute TE and TL, latest event. That is T is forward, that is the maximum for each node and TL is backward, it is the minimum for each node. The next step is calculating the difference. Float, float is TE or TL minus TE. For each activity we can calculate node, here it is. In that case it is, here it is zero, zero, it is zero, it is zero, it is zero, it is zero, here it is ten, here it is eight, 
These values gives the element of float, F-L-O-A-T, float. The activity is having zero float. That is, which activity is having zero float? That is here, one to three. One to three is having zero float. One to three is having zero float. One to three. One to three is having zero float. Then three to five having zero float. So five to six having zero float. Six to seven zero. This is the critical path. So this is the critical path. Critical path. And the duration is 5, 11, 18, 26. 26. So 26 is the critical duration. So it is comparatively simple by using earliest event time, latest event time. Earliest is the forward computation. That is the largest for each node. TL is the backward computation, minimum for each node. And the difference between TL and T is called the float. Having zero float is called the Critical activities, that is 1, 2, 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, that is the critical path. So that this problem is culminating here using this computation of float. The other thing is, here it is 8, that is here it is 10. That means these two events are having floating time. 1 to 2 may be completed. Not at 2 by 10 days. So 8 days are maybe floated. Similarly for 1 to 4. That is a floating time. So activities having zero float is the critical activities. So this is the major method of analysis of a problem in PUT. Thank you. Put forward your suggestions and comments. Thank you.